so you can add text and emojis to your photos using the Photos app on iPhone, iPad and Mac. However, the options are pretty limited, so you might find the results a little bit underwhelming. The good news is that there are plenty of free apps that offer a lot more options if you fancy getting a little bit more creative. I'll show you my favourite a little bit later on in the video. However, we'll start by demonstrating how it works using the Photos app on iPhone and then we'll do the same thing on Mac before finishing up with my favourite free app. Time tags are in the description below to skip ahead, so let's get into it. So start by choosing your photo from your library, tap on Edit, followed by the markup icon. Ignore all the different pen and pencil options you have down here and instead tap on the plus icon and choose text. This will add a very small text box to your photo with the word text written in black. Don't worry about the size, font or colour just yet. For now, move the text box so you can see it more clearly and double tap it to select it. You can then replace the text, add an emoji or even do both. Having finished making your changes, tap anywhere outside the text box to close the editor and then single tap the box again to select it. You can change the colour of your text by choosing one of these preset colours or tap the colour palette to choose your own. I'll set my text to white which works well against the dark background. Now tap on the font icon to adjust the font type and use the slider to adjust the size. Move the text box to your preferred location and once you're happy click done to save your changes and then done again down here to come out of the editing options. Now you can share your photo in the usual way. If you're on Mac, open your photo in the Photos app. Again click on Edit followed by the three dots icon to access the markup menu. This icon here will add a text box to your photo and you can replace the text by selecting it. If you want to add an emoji, I use a website called emojikeyboard.org and you can simply click on an emoji to copy it and then paste it directly into your text box, like so. Clicking the font icon will let you adjust the font colour, type and size. On Mac you have the benefit of choosing any of the fonts you have installed on your machine rather than just the three that's available on iPhone. Move the text box to your preferred location and when you're happy click on Save Changes followed by Done. If these built-in tools in the Photos app don't float your boat, well I recommend an app called Fonto. Fonto literally does one thing, add text to photos, and for a free app it does it pretty well. Tapping the camera icon will give you the option to either take a new photo, grab one from your library, or start with a blank canvas. Having selected your photo, you immediately get the option to overlay it with a filter. But to start adding text, click on Done, tap anywhere on your photo, and press Add Text. This will open the editor where you can start typing. You can choose a font and there are options for adding date and time stamps and these symbols which I find aren't very useful. But you can also adjust the alignment. When you're finished, click Done and you're now presented with a range of different options for formatting your text. We can adjust the size like so, change the font, I'll go with this one. You can tilt your text left or right using the slider and tapping on styles lets you change the colour of your font. I'll opt for red and you can also outline your text by adding a stroke. Switching to styles up here in the menu allows you to add a shadow effect giving your text a little bit of pop so it stands out from the background. Swiping along the menu presents more options such as adding a curve and again use the slider like so. When you're happy with everything, tap on your text to close the menu and click on Share to either save your photo to your library or send it straight to your friends. So that is how to add text and emojis to a photo. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in the quick way of turning off the shutter click noise when taking a photo and an easy way to lock access to any app behind Face ID. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.